Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about DevOps on AWS. So first we'll try and understand what exactly DevOps is all about. Then we will see why it is gaining so much popularity and what are the benefits of implementing DevOps in your projects and in your company. Then we will take a look at where exactly cloud fits in here. And finally, we will see what AWS has to offer when we talk about DevOps on cloud. So first of all, what exactly is DevOps? As per the definition given by Amazon, uh, it's a combination of cultural philosophies, practices, and tools that increases an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at high velocity. Now, high velocity is the keyword here because uh, uh, gone are the days when it was okay to release a software upgrade or an enhancement or a bug fix once in a quarter. Today, you have companies who are doing that on a weekly basis and in some cases on a daily basis. So this speed actually enables organizations to better serve their customers and compete more effectively in the market. And once you have DevOps implemented properly, this is how it looks like. You have a delivery pipeline wherein you are building, testing, and releasing your software to the customers, and then you are monitoring their behavior and planning for the next release accordingly. So what are the key benefits of implementing a DevOps in your projects? The first and foremost benefit is better collaboration among the devs and ops of your organization. So your development department and your operations department, they work like a single cohesive unit with little or no friction, which definitely increases overall productivity of the organization. DevOps practices such as continuous integration, continuous delivery, infrastructure as code, etc., make it possible to release the code way faster than before with almost no errors, resulting in faster time to market and minimized failed deployments. And overall, once you have this shared responsibility model, as they call it, it actually increases the collaboration. Release happens faster, which in turn increases overall productivity of every individual and the team. Now, State of DevOps report, it's a report published by Puppet Labs and Dora, which is a DevOps research organization on an annual basis. Every year they release this uh, uh, report after doing a lot of extensive survey of individuals and companies. And based on that, they give you uh, the outcome or the trends which are going on in the market with regards to DevOps. And some of the key findings of the last couple of years is if you implement DevOps, you actually gain frequent deployments. You have a faster MTTR, which stands for mean time to recovery, which essentially means that how much time it takes for you to roll back if you have any problem coming up during your deployments in case of a failed deployment rather. And yes, you have less number of failed deployments if you have DevOps implemented properly. You design it in such a way that it fails less and less. You make your deployment boring in one word. And finally, shorter lead times. Now lead time is typically a time given to the deployment uh, uh, team uh, before you tell them when it has to be released. So let's say it can be 48 hours, it can be 72 hours. You have to tell them, let's say in one week in advance. So that time gets shorter and shorter and shorter, which means, uh, you can tell your deployment team maybe even only one hour in advance when you are going to deploy your software and they should be able to do it. That's how it works. So these are some of the key benefits of implementing DevOps in your company. Now let's see how DevOps and cloud, how they are interrelated. First of all, DevOps and cloud, they are complementary to each other. Now, most importantly, DevOps and cloud, both of these technologies are comparatively new in IT industry. Uh, cloud, not so new, but DevOps, Definitely, it's comparatively new. And important thing to remember is that both of these technologies are the ones which are currently being embraced by most of the companies. They are trying to move towards DevOps and they're trying to implement cloud in their uh, projects. So what happens is cloud makes it easy to implement DevOps services because of inherent abstraction of complexities. Now, you need not worry about the integration aspect of your tools and technologies in particular. You don't need to write a lot of glue codes. You just have the tools and you just have the services. You just implement them and it works absolutely fine. And yes, you do get the added advantage of agility, scalability, and on-demand availability to DevOps services. All these things are inherent when you have a cloud provider, right? You need not worry about all these aspects. You, you, you don't worry about the... Uh, scalability factor of your servers. You don't worry about the on-demand availability. Whenever you want a service, you have it available if you're working on a cloud. And yes, a combination of DevOps and cloud provides a definite advantage over the competition. No doubt about that. 
So now let's take a look what exactly AWS has to offer when it comes to DevOps on AWS. Now what happens is AWS happens to call them deployment services. They have a specific services uh, with regards to uh, DevOps practices. They call them deployment services. And the first one is code commit. It's a fully managed source control service that makes it easy for companies to host secure and highly scalable private Git repositories. It also eliminates the need for you to manage your own source control system or worry about scaling its infrastructure. You can use AWS code commit to store anything uh, from code to binaries. It also supports the standard functionality of Git. Uh, so it works seamlessly with your existing Git based tools. You can actually think of code commit as uh, Amazon's version of GitLab or uh, GitHub. AWS code pipeline, uh, it's a continuous integration and continuous delivery service for fast and uh, reliable application and infrastructure updates. Code Pipeline builds, tests, and deploys your code every time there is a code change uh, based on the release process models you define. You can easily build out an end-to-end -end solution by using pre-built plugins for uh, popular third-party services like uh, GitHub uh, or integrating your own custom plugins into any stage of your release process. With AWS Code Pipeline, you only pay for what you use. Uh, there is no upfront fees or any kind of long-term commitments. And uh, <clears throat> some of the key benefits of uh, code pipeline is, uh, uh, for example, rapid delivery. You have uh, improved quality of the overall uh, pipeline. You can actually automate your uh, build and test and release process, uh, which actually allows you to easily test each code change and catch bugs while they are small and simple to fix. Uh, you can assure the quality of your application or infrastructure code. Uh, by running each change through your standardized release process. And you can easily integrate code pipeline into any other services within AWS or outside. Uh, for example, you can uh, pull your source code from GitHub, use your on-premises Jenkins build server, uh, run load tests using a third-party service, or pass on deployment information uh, to your, let's say, custom operations dashboard. Next is uh, AWS uh, Code Build. Now, AWS Code Build actually eliminates the need to provision, manage, and scale your own build servers. Uh, it provides pre-packaged build environments for the most popular programming languages and build tools such as uh, Apache Maven, Gradle, and more. You can also customize build environments in AWS Code Build to use your own build tools. AWS Code Build, Code Build scales automatically to meet peak build requests and some of the major benefits of uh, code builds. Uh, first of all, it is uh, a fully managed service. So you do, it eliminates the need to set up patch, uh, update and manage your own build service. It is an on-demand service. So you can use it anytime you want and you pay only for the number of builds minutes you consume. And uh, definitely it is out of the box. So you don't need to have any kind of um, uh, configurations done. It is a pre-configured build environment for the most popular programming languages. All you need is to point to your builder scripts to start your first build. Now Code Deploy is a service that automates code deployments to any instance, including Amazon EC2 instances and instances running on premises. If you need to deploy applications frequently or uh, to multiple environments or both, it automates the process, allowing you to deploy reliably and rapidly by eliminating the need for error-prone manual operations. Now, AWS Code Deploy helps minimize downtime by performing rolling updates across your Amazon EC2 instances, and it also tracks your application health. Now, CloudFormation actually gives developers and system administrators an easy way to create and manage a collection of related AWS resources uh, provisioning and updating them in an orderly and predictable fashion. It simplifies provisioning and managing resources on uh, AWS. Uh, you can create templates for the services and applications you want to build on AWS. It then uses those templates to quickly and reliably provision uh, the services or applications which are known as stacks, right? And you can, you can use various resources such as EC2, VPC, uh, RDS, etc., as part of your cloud formation stacks. You can provision from a single EC2 instance to a multi-tiered application spanning across multiple availability zones with very complex routing rules. And all this with a click of a button. Once you have everything uh, you know, defined properly in the form of templates in cloud formation. AWS OpsWorks. Now, this is something you can think of as a chef on uh, AWS. 
It's basically a flexible application management solution with the uh, automation tools that enable you to model and control uh, your application and uh, their supporting infrastructure. You can manage the complete application lifecycle, including resource provisioning, configuration management, uh, application deployment, software updates, monitoring, and access control. You can define the application's architecture and the specification of each component, uh, including package installation, software configuration, and resources. So that actually completes uh, this video. And uh, if we have to summarize, uh, with most companies today adopting both cloud and DevOps, it's even more important to understand both the technologies uh, in right perspective and how they can complement each other. Cloud makes it, makes it uh, much easier and productive uh, to adopt DevOps practices. On the other hand, uh, DevOps makes the ROI on cloud adoption even more lucrative for any company dealing with software delivery. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.